In a world where what you look like matters far more than who's actually inside, people across the land are choosing to change their very appearance. This week, we're taking a look at a few tattoo artists who have decided to change the face of their industry, cover, black out the mistakes of their past. This is counterculture. My name is Bontovian Blade. And if my years on the road have taught me anything, it's that there is always more than what meets the eye. Let's find that person hiding in the dark corner who goes against the grain, rebelling against the culture that's spoon-fed to us. Let's find the counterculture. When I first bought the shop, a woman came in and wanted to get a butterfly in memory of her dead grandmother. I explained to her that traditional tattooing is dead. Nobody cares about it anymore. Nobody cares about the forefathers of tattooing. It's the new era. My name is Ransom. I've been tattooing for 15 years. I've recently acquired this new shop, traditional tattoo. Um, walk-in street shop, currently painting over the old original flash that has been in this shop since the early 80s and making it lights out. Young boys come in here and ask for daggers stabbed through hearts. And I say, when was the last time you stabbed someone in the heart with a dagger? And the answer is never. But then I look them into their eyes. I look into their fucking souls. And I say, before you go to bed tonight, What's the last thing you'll do? And they look at me in horror. And I say, you'll turn off a light switch. Lights out, motherfuckers. Hey, Ransom, what up, man? Uh, cool. Uh, you want to show me around a little bit? Still All right, cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, Brad. When I went to meet Ransom, I noticed how intense and focused he was on his work. He told me all about the growing community of Lights Out Tattooers across the world. I realized this story isn't just about a guy in a tattoo shop. It was about progression, a movement. And it was all inspired by one artist who goes by the name of Lord Cornelius, or Loco for short. Loco is someone that I discovered in printed media magazines involving tattoo art. <laughs> Sick. He began the lights out culture in which you are covering over mistakes of the past made by traditional tattoo artists. That's so tight. That's like tight. You just put that over it. Just yesterday I painted over some old sailor, whoever it was, Jerry or sailor something. Just completely lights out, just completely blacked it out. For example, an eagle like this, maybe you would, you would put a little black over it and then it looks like that. Is that how that works or? Cause I'm, I, I mean, that's a pretty cool eagle, so. There is nothing cool about that eagle. Yeah, it sucks. That is a mistake. It's not tight. Look into it. Yeah. There's nothing, look at me. There's nothing cool about that. It sucks. It's a mistake, it sucks. Thank you. This is the new tradition. What are you doing? Put that down. It's priceless. It's lights out. I know. I was just checking it out. Every appointment I have, I spend six to eight hours in preparation. I will stay up all hours of the night, searching deep within my cavernous soul, searching for new reference. 
So I started working with Ransom after I saw his work on Tumblr and I just was really interested in it. I thought it was maybe a way that I could get rid of some of these old tattoos that I had. It's less about the end product and more about the process. So in the past, getting tattooed, it was really nothing special. It was just kind of there, it happened. But the way Ransom tattoos, I mean, it's, it's really intense and aggressive and vulgar and just kind of puts you down and does it. Very in-depth release form is necessary for this type of tattoo session. No more will you have client consultation. You will come in and you will get what I am giving that day. I have most of this arm finished and we're working on this one, um, but since tonight's a full moon and everything, Ransom suggests that we go right for my chest, cover this up and slowly work it up into my neck. And if you guys don't mind, I just kind of need a few minutes. Like, it's a really intense ritual that's happening. So if I could just have a few minutes to myself, just. Are you ready? Yeah. Lower your casket. This is your end. Lower the casket. God damn it, Elias. Bond. Glove up. Now that I got all this work done, I think I should just go straight to the source and see Loco. I know it's a long journey to a studio, but um, it's worth the risk. It can take up to a week to find Loco's tattoo lair. Make sure you're prepared. Bring toilet paper. I took Ransom's advice and his directions. I needed to find Loco. I wanted to know what makes him tick. What seed was planted in his brain that inspired him to start this whole culture? What made him want to turn the lights out? The more I hiked, the more questions I had. Day turned into night, and back into day again. And also, back into night. It's the second night out here. Not my usual jolly self, I can say that. I feel like I'm going in circles, but I, I don't know. I ran out of toilet paper. I would never understand this movement if I didn't get tattooed by Loco myself. I think I see something up there. Yep, that's definitely something. Ugh. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, I think this is it. The Lord requires you to partake. What is it? Is it wine or something? <laughs> it's interesting. I guess this is where we tattoo.